you know, the other day I was going to work and wanted to feed some birds, so I was guided to. So I had some crackers in my bag. And I had some coconut water and I had some apples and bananas. And um, that was my little lunch that I was taking to work with me. And um, I stopped by the park and I saw this lady. And she looked at me, she was homeless. And um, I'm sharing this with you, not to say I, but I was guided to go talk to her. God said, go to her. Go sit with her. She needs somebody to talk to. I said, okay. At first I was hesitant because I didn't know if she was going to curse me out or attack me. But then I said, no, God said I'm fine to go. And I did. I went there while I was feeding the birds. She saw me feeding the birds. I said, hello. She said, hi. She actually introduced She actually introduced herself to me. She said, hi, my name is Etsy. I said, hi, my name is... I told her my name. And then um, we started to talk. I said, she said she was hungry. So... I gave her some stuff from my bag. I even gave her my coconut water, and you know, I love my coconut water. And um, she's like, this stuff is organic, this stuff is good. So, so she didn't want any crackers, but I, I'm like, these are good crackers. These are like name brand, taste them. I it was even feeding the birds crackers, <laughs> organic crackers. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she was like, uh, these are good. I said, you want a pack? She goes, are you sure? I'm like, sure. She really wanted a banana, so I gave her a banana. And um, I was talking to her. And she taught me something. I guess God wanted me to teach uh, from, God wanted me to learn something from her. Because I was walking to work and I was like, oh, I gotta go to work. And then I just, he said, stop by at the park. They got some birds there. Go feed them. And I did. And then I saw that lady. And then he said, but there was a lesson behind this. There was a lesson to be grateful. And she needed somebody to talk to. And so did I. You know, sometimes when you talk to strangers, you can talk to strangers easily than to other people that you know. So we got to be talking for 30 minutes. She like told me her whole story, you know. She has children and. Stuff like that, and you know, she's homeless right now. She's 50 years old. It was sad. It was young. And I said, well, at least you got going to the shelter and you're staying at the shelter. You have a roof over your head at the shelter. She goes, yeah. And she was so grateful. And it was nice that she picked up all her b banana peeling and her cracker package and her, and her coconut stuff that I gave her after she was finished. She even picked up mine so nicely. So you don't have to. She goes, no, I will. And put it in the trash can. Very respectful woman. And I told her that God loved her and I'm going to pray for her. And I told her next Tuesday, I'm probably going to bring her something. So mm -hmm. I asked her, what does she want? I said, I, I wanted to hand out some va vanilla wafers chocolate ones and strawberry ones and um those vanilla ones I'm like which one do you like she said chocolate so we became friends you know acquaintances you know and why i'm sharing you this not to say i i am nobody i'm just a vessel you know but I got to tell you, when I walked away, I had such a great feeling in my heart that I got to help somebody in need. And the lesson behind this for me was being grateful for what I have, having a job, having a roof over my mind, over my head. Mm -hmm. It was a lesson for me to remind me gratefulness. 
Because I used to be like that too, homeless, just like that. Mm -hmm. And I know many people say, mentioned in the past, somebody had mentioned on who it was, probably one of my effing enemies. People that do nice things don't mention what they do. No, I'm not saying I. I got nothing to do with it. I was guided there by my creator. That homeless lady taught me a lesson that day to be grateful. Mm -hmm. To be grateful. I might not have much, but I have a roof over my head. I might not have much, but I have a, a decent job. I might not have a car. It's okay, but I can walk. You know? Grateful. She taught me gratefulness once again. And I told her before I left, I said, Jesus loves you and who, whoever creator you believe in. And she says, I believe in Jesus. I said, well, that's beautiful. Well, thank you. And even if she said she believed in somebody else, as long as it was God, I don't care. As long as she believed in a higher power. Who am I to judge, you know? Yep. And the saddest thing is she said her cousin was picking her up. But she goes, when my cousin picks me up, she spends a few hours with me and then she drops me home at the, and then she drops me back at the shelter. And I don't like to stay at the shelter. Yep. And I said, well, I'm glad you have a roof over your head because the shelter isn't bad, right? At least you have some place to sleep. You're not outside. She's like, yes, you're right. And, I, and when I was leaving, I said, is it okay if I give you a hug? Boy, well, when I said that, the biggest smile I got out of her, it's probably a million dollar smile. Yeah. And I hugged her. And she hugged me. You know, humility, humanity matters, guys. That's important. We are all one. No matter what color, culture, religion, caste, whatever you call it, you know. We are all one. We're all God's children. So why we, why must we hate one another? Why must we judge one another? Why must we look down on one another? Why not help one another? Why not... Um, help with a heart, you know? Why not uplift them? Why not? Why must we downgrade somebody? Why? Because if you downgrade somebody and you think you're better than them, you're not. Just because you have, might have a little bit more than them, you're not better than them. You might think you're better than them, but you're not. Because God could take that away from you in the blink of an eye. So quit thinking you have better things than other people, you know, and think that you're better than them because you have a bigger house or bigger car or whatever the situation is. Be effing grateful. Because he knows your intentions. Oh, yeah. And if you think he doesn't, oh, no, he does. He's not stupid. Just saying. My thoughts this afternoon. Mm-hmm. So don't get me, um, don't misunderstand this video that I'm just saying, I know, I got nothing to do with this. My Jesus, my Jesus guided me to that woman. Have a blessed day.